Okay, I'm shooting one more video here uh, because this is impo important. <clears throat> this is how you do warfare at sea against a opponent that is um, not online, which I'm guessing he is not, but we will see. Uh, so uh, the battleship all four survived and took a hit on my light cruisers and killed one of them. But this also means that he's not able to fire now for 21 more minutes. And I'm sending in my battleship to take one free hit, so to say. And then I'm sending it straight back again, out of his range. So if I would have just escaped, then I couldn't get this free hit. So I must take this. Uh, he's at 298 hit points and probably some uh, submarines under him still. So I'm going to do this, go in, take a hit, go back, and, and then we'll see when his 20 minutes are up, if he will chase me or just keep standing. Then I can wait an hour until I can go in again and get the first hit, depending on how much, uh, on how much he has left in hit points. <clears throat> so we'll see. What do we say? 298. And 10 seconds to go. So it's important to take these free hits, so to say, uh, whenever possible. And just chase them back and forth. Uh, there we go. And I'm still unharmed with my battleship, as we know. Okay, I have eight minutes before I can go. So I sent it back and forth, and now it's still eight minutes. But for him, it's 20 minutes. So I can still do it in eight minutes and then pull out quick as hell. Uh, so let's fast forward this eight minutes then. If that's the best way to do it, so we don't have to sit and wait. Uh, so I'll be back in eight minutes and continue this video then. And we're back again uh, with one and a half minute to go. So I thought we could look a little bit at Japan in that time. Uh, I now took uh, Kobe also, and I'm sending out my armored cars. They are running ahead because they're quickest. So I will take Kanazawa, and I'm going for Tokyo. Maybe I will try to take a few before. Uh, I don't know, but I want the morale, of course, extra. But also, I want to take Tokyo pretty quick so I can send my planes there. Because when from there, they can reach his bombers who are now patrolling just outside my area. So I kept two here, sending back three, sending up four that will land and attack, uh, and I will take them out. But I can also take them out by just taking Tokyo and taking Aomori, because then he has no landing fields anymore, and they will automatically fall down and die. So that's what's going to happen. So, okay, look at this now. 31 seconds left. They are out of range. Good. He has 11 minutes. So I will take this hit and just run back. Full engine back. And then we will see what happens in 11 minutes. If he will chase me, then I will just probably just move away and not engage. Because if I do this, I can send the bombers back later on. Okay. There we go. The hit. 298 went to 271. Okay, and back. Hello? No. Please don't lag. Let's do this. Then I want to go here, but okay, that works now. So 271. <clears throat> now it's about just watching him. I could also probably send in attack both and one battleship and seven cruisers might take out his four but remember he has some subs in there at least two subs under him uh, so probably I want to move out keep him under control and send those eight bombers back I also have these 19 no, 11, so it, it will be 19 in total, but I'm not going to wait for those 11. I think the 8 here, 
actually just attack again. I'll set him there. Because if he is offline and just waiting for me, then uh, I can have this in a two, three more hours and the next attack, and that, that will probably damage him pretty hard because he's not that strong anymore. So we will see, but important to take these free hits, so to say, and then just move out. And I think this battle now, I will not shoot anymore. I will tell you later how it went because I cannot shoot every five minutes. <coughs> But this is to be continued for sure, this battle. All right, see you later during day 34. Bye-bye.